what's up guys welcome back to Acura Honda Classic another episode here on our Acura TL Type S project on the previous episode you see the team put everything back together on the bottom of the engine oil pumped oil pans put a brand new timing belt and water pump just to name a few things that we put it on and now we're gonna jump right back on top of the engine but before we do that we gotta get the valve cover back from Brian and one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna refinish the valve cover to an OEM light finish. Without further ado, let's go get Brian. Yo, Tank A Brian! What's up, what's up? We gotta go, man. Are we gonna uh, get some paint? For the valve covers. You just want me or you want John to come? Hey, Let's hey. take a ride, guys. That's Come on. Man. I got dips. Oh, wow. Oh, we got full house today. Full house, baby. We got Andrew back there. Yeah, so we're headed up to uh, Advanced Auto. and um, previously, previously known as Discount Auto Parts. Discount Auto Parts. Now, they changed, what, like 10 years ago? Yeah, but not for me. Not for you. Hmm. It'll always be discount. Well, a good thing about this place here is just literally walking distant. Yeah, yeah. We could have walked. We but you know, have. this intersection is a little bit crazy over here. I think Miguel would have walked. He would have walked. You he know, he, walked. he probably would have ran, you know. Oh, yeah. John, you could use a walk. Oh, yeah, but I oh, mean, oh. I've gotten really attached to my belly fat. Oh. Talking about that, let's, uh, let's hit up maybe 479 this weekend. Oh, man, Ooh. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Now we're talking about racing. No, I'm just wondering how it would line up, you know? It was so. <gasps> Remember back in the day? You were Ask for this on my Christmas list. We actually have one of those tips. Yeah? We're gonna put it on the ILX. My tip is bigger than this though. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah from the factory, it's lighter gray. So mm, I, I would like say I would say this this color here. It's pretty close to the real color. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, so I think we'll go with this color over here. So it's Brian, a little bit more metallic-y. Brian, let's talk about the, yeah. the, the prepping, the valve covers and everything. So it, I don't think it really, we don't need primer necessarily. We, this is meant to go right over the finish. So what, clean, scuff it, you need to degrease yeah. it. Yes. Um, so clean, scuff, degrease, we'll clean it up, and then we'll just put this right over it. We just need to scuff it like a 400 crit, which is, well, we have the pads over there. You can have used ones, you can get them. But let me show them what you would need. Um, Yeah, so all they would need is something like this and when we get back to the shop uh, We're gonna use something similar to this so you guys pick up this also pick up some uh, maybe some rubbing alcohol or degreaser We'll show you it doesn't take much Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you. Thanks, man And uh, Some of the things that we uh, didn't get at AutoZone because we already had here was uh, purple power that, that stuff's awesome. All right. Yeah. Um, and speaking about that, it's a degreaser. You guys already went through this, and you clean these already off camera. Well, um, we clean them initially in our parts washer, okay. which it's it's made for getting heavy grime and grease off, but it doesn't decontaminate the oil from here like right. you always have to do when you clean okay. before you paint. So you guys can start with this. Um, ahead of time they can use a scrub brush or whatever yeah I have a little wire yeah. brush here and then so what we're gonna do since they're already got their initial cleaning is we're gonna go and after they remove all of the uh, hardware uh, we're going to use like a cleaner like a parts cleaner yeah, solvent cleaner. cleaner yeah and then we're gonna do a final cleaning once all the grime and everything with the sanding um, scuff pad and the little mini wire brush is uh, alleviated we'll come back and we'll clean and, and it what do you have here and uh, over here we have a special foam tape. Now, I, you guys don't have to go and get the foam tape, but it, um, this particular, particular foam tape you can use in the holes to make sure that overspray doesn't get through. Remove all the little hardware, stuff we don't want to get paint on, and then we'll go ahead and just tape the items that we can't remove easily uh, because it's pretty much a do-it-yourselfer type of thing. Yeah, this is the PCB valve. These things get a little stuck in here. I think Mike's gonna try and get a screwdriver. A little screwdriver? Ah, oh, there you go. That's the PCV valve. Okay. 
That has a couple O-rings on it. Man, come on, man. I, the man came equipped. Too easy. See that? What is that? I don't come even on, know man. what that thing is. Oh, my God. Hey, at least you got your workout in for the day. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and give a little scuff down, and then we'll tape off. Well, that's your specialty, right? Yeah. So but we can uh, split, though. Oh, thank you for looking out. This is equivalent to about 600 grit. The maroon scuff pad is a little bit rougher. It will still work just as well. Now, what's your goal for these? You're looking for I'm like, not, I'm just like trying paint to get, finish like on your yeah. on your car? Or? Uh, I'm looking, the goal for these is not going crazy. I just want them to look fresh. fresh. Okay. I don't care if they're not 100% perfect. Once you get it all scuffed up, just go over this with the uh, parts cleaner, solvent cleaner, mineral. It really gets all the oil. Yeah, out, right? mineral spirits, all that type of stuff will work, um, and then that helps get the grime that's kind of just sitting out. Listen, you're not gonna get it 100% every little nook and cranny, but you want to try to get as much as you can off. That way, that paint sticks to the um, finish. Now this is uh, just regular tape. You can get any tape that's somewhat automotive grade or blue painter's tape. It won't matter too much. And uh, this is gonna get painted. This this flat portion, that's okay? It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Just keep it off the threads. Just keep it off the threads, protect the threads. And tape this off here where the hoses are gonna go. Okay. That little feller there. That feller? Yeah, that feller there. Then we wanna block these thread holes. Okay. See these thread holes? Okay. All right, so John and I, we got them all taped up, and uh, you know, I gotta tell you that this foam tape, you don't need it, but boy, does it make your life easier because it conforms to the holes, and they've got different sizes. You can tear off a little bit. You can put it right into those little holes where the threads are and uh, it just makes life easier. We'll leave the product in the uh, description along with the other products that we use. And now this is a high heat uh, engine paint right here and um, I'm gonna let you do it. And pretty much, you know, we wanna keep it around eight, eight inches. We don't wanna go too far because if we go too far, it's gonna be dry by the time it hits the actual uh, surface. So work all your edges first, make sure all your edges are all good and then, um, We'll let it flash or dry for about maybe five to 10 minutes in between. And uh, you know, I can't tell you if it's gonna be three or four coats. We're just gonna do it until it's covered and it looks good. Uh, All right. I'll tell you what, I have you started first and I'll do it. Okay, that. sound good. Uh, but what we should probably do is probably just put some masks on before we start so we can always remember, you know, safety because we are indoors and we don't wanna make, we wanna make sure that we are somewhat protected. Great idea. Yep, got your mask, you're good to go. All right, so. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not gonna actually stop my pass in the middle. I wanna use long sweeping motions. And so I'll come on, off, on, and off. But I'm gonna wanna try to get all my edges first, just to make sure that I am uh, completely covered. So I'll come here. Okay. I'll do my side and you'll do your side. Does that sound good? Sounds great. All right. We don't have to get we don't have to get way up on it, okay? We just want it covered. Light coats, right? Light coats, not hard to do. It's already looking much better. All right, so I'll let mine dry. It's not completely covered, but we don't care. We got to let the marriage between the paint and the surface happen, and then now all our other subsequent uh, coats will be nice and flat because we already have a barrier for this to lay on it next. So just get the paint on, connect the dots on the first one. Colors decent. Nice job. Do you used to do graffiti? You caught me. Ah, uh, I knew it. What was your tag? I can't tell you. Uh, Too pro. I'm on probation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it, Brian. You know, it looks really good. I like that you just got it on there. And now let that dry. I'll come over to my side and I'll do mine. Now, 
If we want to take it a step further, you could really grind them and get all the little imperfections out, but we just want to put a nice coat of paint on it. That's all we want to do. We don't want to spend all day getting a smooth, super smooth finish. If we wanted to do that, we'd probably just buy new ones. We just want to refresh a look. So you might see some things here and there, you know, for what the project's worth, we just want to refresh, make it look clean one color again. I tell you what, this color really close to the It does, it does, and it will get a little bit more uniform once we get a couple more coats on it. So I'm going to go ahead with mine, and then we'll go from there. So this is the last coat and so what you're going to see me do on this coat is I'm going to put it wet and then I'm going to back up and kind of dust the last coat on to kind of make sure all the little metallics are oriented, oriented and it's nice and even. Instead of like little small strokes, keep it about maybe 12 inches and just kind of dust it over the whole thing. I think it's going to look a lot better when it's all done. Now what I'm gonna do, like I said, is kind of dust it on. And that's it, you leave it alone. You know, and how it looks is how it's gonna look, but it looks a million times better. What do you got, 10K? Uh, hey, they look better last night, I gotta say. You know, right. that paint, it kind of dried, and uh, we don't use rattle cans all the time. Yeah. And it actually dried matte, and if you want matte, that's okay, but I think we want a little bit of shine because that shine's gonna help um, keep it clean and just make it look a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of clear coat on here. I'm gonna run over to the store, same store. I'm gonna come back, and then we're just gonna put a couple coats of clear coat on, and I think it's gonna look much better. So we'll see what that looks like when it's done. All right, guys. So it should be a um, pretty simple process. Uh, Brian and I go to go ahead and put some clear coat over this, and then right after that, we'll uh, get this put right back on the engine and um, put everything back together. Oh, come on, the devil! <laughs> so I just got back, went in there, and they actually have one that's uh, engine enamel, so it's for high heat as well. So. Uh, I think this is really gonna make it look good. Oh, perfect. Got a couple masks, so. Uh, Pretty simple yeah. process. We're gonna do the same, uh, probably just a little bit closer, maybe, because um, it needs to go on a little bit wet. So, okay. maybe about six inches. So, so we'll, how many coats are we doing? Uh, let's do about two to three. Two to three? Yeah, and then we'll go allow, allow for maybe five to six minutes to dry in between. Okay. And then we'll see what it looks like. All right, let's get to it. Yep. So, it's a good idea, a good thing that we left that tape on because. Uh, we don't have to go back and retape. So uh, I'll do my side, you do your side, and we'll keep about six inches away and kind of go from there. So we put that first coat down and it's, uh, it's kind of glossy, but we didn't really want to go full on because we wanted the marriage between the uh, clear coat and the um, base to kind of happen. So now we got that surface, now we can add more clear. So we're going to go a little bit closer, go a tidbit slower, and we're going to kind of work that gloss into there. But we don't want to go too much because we don't want to run the paint. So let's go for it. So yeah, we went with just two coats. I mean, looking at it, I don't think it needs any more. We've achieved what we wanted, some gloss and some protection. So come on, great. Yeah, yeah. So now we'll let these dry, <laughs> and I know they'll be good in the morning. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be ready to pop them in the car. And you know, you barely see 
everything we painted, you only see small areas, but I think when you see it, you're really gonna like it. Man, I just wanna put some gasket on, pop yeah. this bad boy back in, put an engine back together, yeah. and fire it back up. I gotta tell you, I'm learning a lot from the videos. I'm watching them all, yeah. and I'm learning everything about the mechanics and the engine that are really, really good. So, I can't wait to see how these go in. Yeah. What do you think, Brian? Man, you know what? For a quick do-it-yourself project, they look really, really good, you know? And if you wanted to get them perfect, you'd probably sand them down and grind them down, but you know, want to stay within the means of a budget. Yeah, I think this is just perfect for the project. Yeah. You know, it's a budget bill. I mean, if you want to, we can buy a brand new one, but that's yeah. not the case. But I think more importantly, you know, the viewer can actually do this at home on the weekend. Yeah. I think that's very important. Oh, super, super easy. Nothing much to it. So on the next episode, we'll be putting these bad boys right back in the engine, put everything back together and fire it up, make sure you're running perfect. Then after that, we'll take down the transmission. Take down the transmission and then I heard the clutch is going in. So oh yeah, the clutch is going in. That's yeah. gonna be pretty exciting because uh, they tell me it's gonna drive totally different because it's my first time driving stick, so right. believe it or not. And they tell me it's gonna be driving so much smoother, so I'm curious to see how that goes. So. Well, I wanna thank everyone watching our videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. And also don't forget the website, uh, www.acurahondaclassic.com. You can get some apparel. Uh, we have many versions of the shirt, but this is the most uh, popular. That's the version one, the first one. Original In one the back, it's got, uh, got just the basic, our basic logo that you'll see in every single video. So that helps support the channel. And if you did like it, share it, comment, subscribe, because we got a lot more episodes for this build. So on behalf of Mike, thank you for helping us rebuild our community, and we'll see you on the next one.